Congratulations! We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Please find enclosed a list of all necessary books and equipment. The term begins soon. We will be awaiting your owl. Have you seen this new game? This is, well, obviously, it is a Harry Potter game where you, or me, we all, we can all go to Hogwarts. We've got our letter. All right, <laughs> I'm very excited. Okay, so I can choose a witch or a wizard. I'm a girl, so I'm gonna choose a witch, accept. And now I get to make my own character. I can randomize, but let's see. Let's make one who looks reasonably like me. So we're gonna need a reasonably reasonably pale skin tone and nose really cute little noses look at these noses let's just choose one we can actually go back and change this later on so it doesn't need to be too perfect I do like them though they're cute all right uh, and eyebrows just some middling eyebrows middling lips looking pretty good now we can go back and I can choose some hair oh I like that I don't have braided hair. I like this. This is cute. Look at this little pixie cut. But I might just go with this one. And there are a whole heap here that we can unlock as we proceed through. And I just need, I, I kind of need a more, a more uh, ready brown. But that will do. That's that's looking good. And I can't choose any of the rest of the stuff yet because they're not highlighted. Let's go. Let's start. We can always make the changes later. I want to go to Hogwarts. I can see a finger pointing at an exclamation mark. So I think that's important. We're in Diagon mm. Alley. Oh, it's Rowan. Hi, I'm Rowan Karner. Are you getting ready to start at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry too? I think Rowan's going to be my new friend. Let's find out. Oh yes, but Diagon Alley is a bit confusing. I'm not sure where to start. I can help. I've been reading Hogwarts Our History. Oh, awesome. In anticipation of my first year. So I'm something of an expert on Hogwarts. Awesome. Rowan's going to be very useful. You should start by finding all the books you need at Flourish and Blots. Or shall we do that? We've Oh, we have completed a task. We've talked to Rowan. We've got our books. No, actually, we need to get our books. Flourish and Blots has all the books you need. Go inside and pick them up. Cool, so that's what we just read. Here is our first part of year one, chapter one. We need to get to Hogwarts, we need to begin our lessons, but first we need to go to Flourish and Blots. And here it is over here. This is very helpful. <laughs> Finding the pointy pokey finger, very helpful indeed. Now we're at Flourish and Blots. I can click the exclamation mark and it's time to gather our books. Tap on glowing objects to complete actions and earn rewards. I like that. So to gather our books, we need to use up three little energy things and it gave us experience points oh me i can't wait to learn all these charms and over here tap another glowing object to begin another action some actions take a few taps to complete so this one's going to take two taps two energies and we had 24 up here in this right hand corner did you see and they're actually refreshing with our timer as we go along Okay, oh, there's more here. Turn pages, that's going to take two energy points. Whoa, this book was written by Batilda Bagshot, so we're going to need to get all those. Perfecto mundo. Not sure that's actually a word. Whoa, I found all of the books on my list. I'll see if Ron can help me find the rest of my supplies. So we have ticked off, get your books. So next up, we need to ask Rowan what to do next. Let's go back to Diagon Alley. Here we are. Oh, look, Rowan's just been standing there all that time. She's very patient, girl. Me! Thanks for your help, Rowan. I was able to get all of my books. Yay! Oh, she's really excited. Cool. I realise I'm so excited for Hogwarts that I forgot to ask your name. Now, this is very curious because I don't know my name. So let's change it to... Let's make it Ellie. Um, Make it Ellie... I know. Let's say Ellie Valiant. That starts with V. And it means something nice, so let's go with that. There, that's me. My name is Ellie Valiant. Oh, pleasure to meet you, Ellie. 
You two, I couldn't be more excited to get to Hogwarts. <laughs> I know, I haven't stopped staring at my acceptance letter since it arrived. Can I see yours? Is that a polite thing to ask? I don't know. Dear Ellie Valiant, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The day's finally come. Please find enclosed a list of all necessary books and equipment. Term begins on September 1. We await your hour by no later than July the 31st. Yours sincerely, Minerva McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress. Look at all these. This is brilliant. So I'm going to tap brilliant. I already got my supplies, but my mum gave me just enough to buy something special for school. That's nice. I want to let everyone at Hogwarts know that I'm a serious intellectual who is well on her way to becoming head girl. That is some high aspirations. What do you think I should get, Ellie? Smart scarf, a serious sweater, a cool hat. I think I'm going to choose a cool hat. I could see you wearing a cool hat. I totally could. Great idea! I have lots of hats, but none of them are cool. All right, while I get my clothes, you should get your wand from Ollivander's. Let's do that, this is awesome. We have ticked off talk to Rowan. Now, let's go to Ollivander's in Diagon Alley and get our wand. Here it is, I love that helpful pointy finger. I'm gonna guess it's not gonna hang around all the time though. <laughs> let's scroll over this way. Oh, this is so exciting. Getting your wand is so important. I can't believe I'm really in Ollivander's. This is where everyone gets their first wand. Oh, big breath. Hello, Garrick Ollivander is my name. Here to receive your first wand, yes. I have just the thing. Applewood wand, dragon heart string core, nine inches rigid. Go on, give it a twirl. So we need to trace the wand movement to cast the spell. Let's do that. Whoosh. How did I go? Whoa! Oh, oh, oh no. no. I don't think that should have happened. Yeah, she's looking, <laughs> looking very askance at that wand. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's not your fault. The wand chooses the wizard, and that is clearly not the wand for you. I recall your brother exploded my favorite ink pot when we tried his first wand. <gasps> you knew my brother? I remember every wand I've ever sold. His was maple wood, dragon heartstring core, 10 inches, a fine wand. Shame they snapped it in half when he was expelled. There's some backstory going on here. This is getting exciting. I understand that he ran away from home after being expelled and has been missing ever since. That must have had a profound impact on you. So how did I feel? Did I feel bad for him? I was angry, I was determined. I think I probably felt bad for him. He loved us and he loved Hogwarts. I just hope he's okay. Hmm. Sensitivity can be a great strength. I think I have just the wand for you. Acacia wand, unicorn hair core, 12 inches pliable. Give it a twirl. She looks very apprehensive about this. Let's see how it goes. Oh, that looks magical and perfect. I think that one worked really well. Splendid. It did! Ollivander is... he looks happy. I'll be interested to see what path you choose. Me too, Ollivander, me too. So we've got your wand. We've got our wand. Go on now, I look forward to seeing what becomes of you. That's cool. Let's go back to Diagon Alley, where Rowan is probably, yes, yeah, still standing in the same spot. But she's got a cool hat! Let's go and check that out. Hey, Ellie! How do you like my hat? It is... <laughs> it's a beanie. <laughs> it's cute. It suits you. You look like the smartest first year at Hogwarts. <laughs> I'm very nice. It was your suggestion. I'll be coming to you for all of my future fashion advice. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, wait, is that an acacia wand? Yes. How did you know? My family's tree farm supplies wood for wands and brooms. That's why I love staying inside and reading. It keeps me from going outside and farming. <laughs> That and the fact that I don't have any friends. Oh, we can be friends. That's a cool start. You don't think I'm too weird? People usually think I'm too weird. People say the same thing about me. You can never be too weird. Why would anyone say that about you? My brother is Jacob Valiant. Oh. The same Jacob Valiant who was expelled from Hogwarts for breaking school rules in search of the fabled cursed vaults. That was a massive story in the Daily Prophet. Everyone at school will know about that. Dun dun. I know, and they'll all think I'm weird. We'll be weird together! What should I do if someone gives you trouble over your brother? That's such a nice thing to ask. So, shall we keep quiet? Shall I ask her to keep quiet or to follow my lead? I think I'll ask her to follow my lead. 
I can stand up for myself, but I'd feel better if I knew you were on my side. This is so nice. Understood. I'll use my extensive vocabulary to verbally pummel anyone who attempts to besmirch your reputation. Oh, Rowan, you are a good friend to have. I'm glad we met. It will be nice to see a friendly face at school, especially one who knows Hogwarts so well. <laughs> Me too, Ellie. See you in September on the Hogwarts Express. Return to Rowan. We did that. This is all getting so... Oh! Chapter 1's complete. Our journey begins. We have been rewarded 50 coins and 100 experience points. Let's collect them. And Chapter 2, let's go to Hogwarts. Perched atop a high mountain with its turrets, towers and sparkling windows, the strange and splendid Hogwarts castle awaits you. Let's press start. We're off to Hogwarts, everyone. Are you excited? There we go. Are we on that train? I think I can see me through the window. Am I waving to us? I can't see anyone through the window. <laughs> I'm just hoping I caught the train. I did! I caught the train. We are in the lower floor west. Gather in the Great Hall. The sorting ceremony is about to begin. All new students to the Great Hall. Let's go. Let's do it. There it is. This is exciting. We are in the Great Hall. It looks just the way it showed. We're finally in Hogwarts. We finally got our letter. Oh, what's Professor McGonagall got to say? Welcome to Hogwarts. Before the welcoming feast, we must sort all first-year students into their proper houses. The sorting ceremony is very important. While you are here, your house will be something like your family within Hogwarts. The four houses are called Gryffindor, the brave and chivalrous, Hufflepuff, the kind and diligent, Ravenclaw, the witty and wise, and Slytherin, the cunning and ambitious. Each house has its own noble history and each has produced outstanding witches and wizards. I hope you all will be fine additions to their ranks. We all look so excited. All right, and now for who's going to be sorted first? Ah, me. Okay, that's exciting. I look very excited and a little bit nervous and apprehensive. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Hmm, very interesting. I haven't seen one like this in a long time. <laughs> and what house are you hoping for? Hmm? Now, is this random or do I get to choose? I'm going to go... Now, I'm actually not really the most brave and daring person. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Ravenclaw. Is Ravenclaw the house you're looking for? Hoping for? Oh, yes. I understand now. Best make it... Ravenclaw! Oh! <laughs> And Ravenclaw goes wild! A Ravenclaw! I can't believe it! I can't believe I'm really at Hogwarts! I better sit down. The headmaster is about to speak. Let's see what Professor Dumbledore says. Welcome! Welcome to another year at Hogwarts! The past few years have seen a great weight lifted from our world. The boy who lived, Harry Potter, is safe. Should he be telling us this? Years from now, young Harry will be old enough to attend Hogwarts. So this is happening before all the books. Ooh. Uh, uh, but for now, it's your turn. Remember, while you are at Hogwarts, your triumphs will earn you house points, while any rule-breaking will lose house points. At the end of the year, the house with the most points is awarded the House Cup, a great honour. I hope each of you will be a credit to your house. <sighs> Professor Flitwick, look, the feast has ended. Ravenclaws, please proceed to the Ravenclaw common room. Let's go. Oh, look! Rowan's in Ravenclaw too. That's cool. I'll have a friend when I get there. Let's see what Ravenclaw's common room looks like. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, here's Rowan over here. There are people studying and practicing spells. I just love the ceiling. All right, let's see what Rowan has to say. It's fantastic to see you again, Ellie. I'm so happy we both got put in Ravenclaw. Would you like to hear an exhaustive history of our house, including a comprehensive biography of our house founder? Uh, yeah, no. For now, let's just take it all in. It's incredible, isn't it? Even better than I imagined. This really is a brilliant place to study. We even get our own bookshelves. Ha, oh. huh, can't believe they even let you in here after your mental brother got expelled and ruined Ravenclaw's reputation. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to like this boy. Yeah, Ellie will be an outstanding Ravenclaw. I'm assuming you aren't, since you spend your time bullying first years. Whatever, I'll be keeping an eye on both of you. Hmm, friendly. 
Sorry, I know you asked me to follow your lead back in Diagon Alley, but I can't let anyone talk to my friend like that. Thanks, Rowan. Something tells me that won't be the last time someone brings up my brother. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think this is quite important to the story, actually. Have you had a chance to look at your timetable? Uh -huh. Yes, can you believe it? Herbology with Professor Sprout. Transfiguration with Professor McGonagall. What are you most looking forward to, Ellie? Oh, charms class, potions class, finding my brother. Yeah, I think charms class. I'm excited about charms class. I want to learn all of those amazing spells from Ravenclaw's head of house, Professor Flitwick. Luckily, we have charms class with Professor Flitwick first thing tomorrow. See you there, Ellie. See you, Rowan. Whoa. Now what do we do now? Let's follow the little pointy finger. We've completed all the story tasks for chapter two, so Lumos. Ready? Go. Let's tick that and say. Okay, it says now it's time to complete your first lesson for this chapter. Let's do it. We are off to the charms classroom. We're gonna learn our first charm. Well, this looks nice. Okay. Let's see what Professor Flitwick has to say. Pleased to meet you, Professor Flitwick. I'm really looking forward to charms. <laughs> you're Miss Valiant. If you're anything like your brother, you will do just fine. He was one of my most skilled students. That being said, he was also one of my most rebellious students. Are you going to follow the rules? Hmm. I'll follow the rules. I'm a rebel too. I haven't decided. You know what? I might just sit on the fence. I haven't decided. I'll do my best to follow the rules, but I can't make any guarantees. <laughs> so neither yes, neither no. Hmm. Very well, Miss Flitwick. Oh no, hold on, that's him. Very well, Miss Valiant. Please have a seat. Class is about to begin. Here we go. Welcome to your very first charms class at Hogwarts. I will be your instructor, Professor Flitwick. Please pay close attention to the instructions and take great care practicing the spells you learn. Today we will be learning a very important spell known as the Wand Lighting Charm. This charm is useful in dark places, whether you are searching a shadowy room for hidden dangers, or trying to find a scroll that rolled under the sofa. Lumos. Lumos. Okay, I can do this. Oh, very nice, Professor Flitwick. Right, what do we have to do? In this class, you'll complete actions to earn stars. Earn two stars to learn Lumos. Okay, so what do we need? Our reward is five gems and start one hour. So we've got one hour to complete this. Now at the moment we've got lots of energy, but this is going to be useful in the future to know how long we've got to complete a task. All right, let's do it. Lumos lecture, let's go. Now it's your turn to give it a try. You're probably wondering how. I'll explain it to you, listen closely. Complete actions to fill up your star meter. So these two guys over here, well, me and Rowan, I can glance three times. What am I glancing at? Am I copying off Rowan? Looks like I might be, and I've earned some good things there. I've catalogued my notes by subject and sub-subject. And what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna grin, because grinning is so useful when you're learning. Yeah, charms. I can't believe I'm really learning magic at Hogwarts. All right, being happy is good too. Study movements. Who am I watching? I need to do this three times. Move your wand thusly. So I was watching Professor Flitwick. We've earned a star for completing the first activity. Now choose your reward. Now I'm going to guess that gems are going to get quite hard to get as we go along here. In fact, they're probably something that we're going to have to buy as time goes on. These games always start easy. So, and then they get harder uh, to, to achieve these sort of things. So I'm going to choose the pink gem. Thinking that this is something that it's going to be hard to get. Now, I have a question for you. Let's see if you know the answer. Uh oh, I hope I was listening. What does the charm Lumos provide? Pumpkin pasties! No, light. How did we go? It's so good! Brilliant! Brilliant! Professor Flitwick is very smiley. And so am I! I'm very smiley too! School's going well. Prepare to cast Lumos. Now you try it, remember? Lumos! Here we go. Oh, what's happening now? Oh, I need to... Oh, hold on. No, Rowan's watching. Where am I watching Rowan? Oh no, that was Rowan. And me, I'm gonna wave my wand three times. And... And it says, is this how you're supposed to do it? And I'm going to try again. I'm going to practice magic three times. It takes three energy. I've still got 15 out of 24 there. And I'm taking that pink gem as my reward. Let's go. Let's cast Lumos. 
It's like an upside down V. We did it! We did our first charm! I look very smug and really happy! <laughs> and we've just been rewarded five gems. Cool. Let's collect that. And it looks like we've unlocked some extra things in the clothing department. Well done, Miss Valiant. That's the best execution of the wand lighting charm I've seen from a first year in quite some time. <laughs> Ten points to Ravenclaw. Thank you. Nice work, Ellie. I read everything I could find in the wand lighting charm, and yours was still better. You're a natural. Potions is next. I have a feeling facing Snape won't be so easy. Yeah, I agree with me. I agree with me. Let's see what's down here in our book. Oh, so this is where you can keep track of all the magical lessons you learn at Hogwarts. So, so far we've learnt no potions, but we have learnt our first charm, Lumos, and we got five gems. Let's see what else we can learn. Expelliarmus and Rictusempra. Useful. Yeah, they're good for dueling. This one gets us Wingardium. Leviosa gets us five gems. Aloha Mora gets us five gems. Flippendo. Oh, all right. We can't learn Nox yet. That's... <laughs> and look, there are all these other year levels up here, but we can't go into them yet either. So let's go. Let's go and uh, tap this. Now it's time to go and cure boils. I think we're off to Snape's classroom. Is everyone ready? Uh oh. What's happening? Wait, is that Rowan? Uh. Ruler, admit it! Uh. I can't. Say I'm the most powerful witch at Hogwarts. I think Marula's not very nice. It's logically impossible. I've made numerous lists of the most powerful witches at Hogwarts based on multiple factors. You're less powerful than Professor McGonagall, Professor Sprout, Madam Hooch, Madam Pomfrey, every single seventh year. You're just a first year like me. I'm nothing like you. Now what do we do? Do we stand up to her or do we distract her? Hmm. You know, how do you deal with bullies? You can try either way. We're going to stand up to her this time. And we got five points, five attribute points. There are three attributes, courage, empathy, and knowledge. So we got some. Get away from her. Who do you think you are? Ellie's the one who should be claiming to be the best witch. Oh, I don't think it's a good idea to say that to her. Professor Flitwick said she cast the best wand lighting charm of any first year. Uh -huh. Ellie, now I know exactly who you are. You're Ellie Valiant. Your brother lost his mind, disgraced his house, got expelled from school, and was never heard from again. Yeah, you're not going to be my best friend, are you? You belong in Ravenclaw. Hmm. Who are you? <laughs> Marula Snide. First year Slytherin, the best witch at Hogwarts. Uh-huh. I overheard the professors whispering about you at the feast. I suppose you think you're better than me. I should put you out of your misery before you ruin Hogwarts like your brother tried to. I don't want any trouble. You don't have a choice. Uh, taunt her, threaten her, reason with her. I'll try reasoning with her. I don't think she's going to be reasoned with, though. You, we can talk about this. We can be friends. We can talk this out. Mm. You think you're good enough to be friends with me? You really are as mad as your brother. Ah. Yeah. No, we're not going to get along, I don't think. And here is Professor Snape. Valiant. I knew you'd be trouble. Oh. Professor Snape. Marula was bullying my friend, Professor. Get to potions class. Be thankful you aren't headed to detention. For talking in the hallways? That's a bit rough. Thanks for standing up for me, Ellie. I've never been very strong. We're very good at making friends. I'm glad that you and I are both in Ravenclaw. Did you hear what Marula said? Why would the professors be talking about me? Now that is very curious. I wonder why. Hmm. I don't know, but we better get to potions. We're in enough trouble as it is. Off to the potions classroom. This is exciting. Cure for Boyle's potion. I am ready, I think. <laughs> potions classroom. Professor Snape has something to say. We had better listen. This is your first potions class, and based on the bewildered look in your eyes, this could very well be your last. Unlike your other classes, this is not a place for foolish wand-waving and intolerable screeching of mispronounced incantations. You are here to learn the subtle science and exact art of potion-making. Ensnare the senses, bewitch the mind, keep your mouths shut. Today you will produce a simple cure for Boyle's potion. Know that I expect perfection, and know that there will be severe consequences for failing to meet my expectations. Let us begin. Yeah, I'm scared already. Mm. You think you're so special, but you're already guaranteed to fail, Valiant. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> You'll see. 
Uh, okay, I think we need to keep an eye on Marula. Ignore her, Ellie. After getting reprimanded by Snape, we need to brew this potion perfectly. Yes, you make a good point. Right, what else does Snape have to say? We need two. Okay, we need to cure for Boyle's potion. We get five gems. We can start. We get one hour to do this. Demonstration. The lesson starts. To begin to brew cure for boils, your per technique must be perfect. Watch me. Let's see. So we've got sparkly lightning in the cauldron. We've got wand rais raising. We've got some green goopy stuff going in. And more waving. And some orange goopy stuff in a red bottle. Okay, let's see. I'm going to tap him and we're going to listen. I'm listening hard. Crush your snake fangs into a powder. Yes, I've done that. Uh, whisper. I have to admit, Snape's technique is impressive. Let's see. I don't think whispering to Marula's a good idea. Marula, don't make me laugh. Oh. I get the pink diamond. Oh. Do not make me repeat myself. Focus. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm focusing. What are we doing now? Oh. We tap when the circles are the same size. Tap. How did I go? Brilliant! Phew. What does Snape think? Oh, don't look too happy. My knowledge has gone up. I've leveled up. I've got 10 points for knowledge. But I am a little afraid of what Snape's about to say. Prepare to finish Cure for Boils. Finish your potions quickly. I want to see how poorly you executed this recipe. Right. Prepare to finish Cure for Boils. Let's see. I'm going to twirl. <laughs> You. I'm ready to finish my first potion. Uh, clean. Brewing potions is messy. Assess. Brewing potion takes a lot out of you. It does. I've still got. I've still got lots of good energy though. I think it's renewing quite fast at the moment. Pick up. Two, three, four. Put that back. Oh, hold on. Obviously, I didn't need that one. Uh, and I'm getting the diamond again. I call it a diamond, but it's pink. I'm eager to see your attempt at the cure for Boyle's potion. Prepare to finish cure foils. Trace the shape to wave your wand over the cauldron. Brilliant! Finish your potion. Let's see. How did it go? Rowan looks eager. We got 10 points. Does that mean we succeeded? Prepare to finish cure. We did it! We learned the cure for boils potion! That's going to be so useful if we get boils. Hmm, perhaps Valiant isn't absolutely incompetent after all. It worked! I brewed my first potion! Congratulations, Ellie, in all my research, hardly anyone ever brews this potion correctly on their first try. Wait, what's happening? Um... Did you add Boulder... Bulbadox powder. From my studies, this looks like the beginnings of the explosive reaction caused by adding Bulbadox powder. I'm sure I didn't add Bulbadox powder. Explosive? Oh. Right. <laughs> Congratulations. You have cured the table of boils. Thanks, Marula. You're so nice. You should have never been allowed inside of my classroom, Valiant. You are somehow even worse than your brother. Well, this is going well. Ten points from Ravenclaw. What do you have to say for yourself? Okay. Some choices require you to be at a certain attribute level. The third choice requires courage level two, but you're only at courage level one. Oh gosh, I don't think I'd be able to say it's your fault to Professor Snape. I think my only choice here is to say I'm sorry. Apologizing is often a good way to go. Even though actually it wasn't my fault. I'm sorry, Professor Snape. I didn't mean to let you down. You didn't let me down, Valiant. My expectations for you are incredibly low. It's only going to get worse, Valiant. You should have known that coating your cauldron with Bulbadox powder would make your potion explode. I certainly did. That sounds very suspicious to me. Now there's no doubt that I'm the most important first year and you're nothing but a disgrace, just like your brother. Dismissed. I've had enough of all of you for one day. I lost Ravenclaw 10 house points. What's going to happen when I go back to the Ravenclaw common room? Well, we have completed a task in <laughs> dealing with trouble. After your encounter with the belligerent Slytherin, Marula Snide, you must seek out a way to recover the house points you lost. Uh-oh. Oh no, Chester. 
We just lost house points. You wouldn't know about that, would you? Come to the common room. Prefect's orders. Uh-oh. Ben. Who's Ben? You're Ellie Valiant, right? Yes. Who are you? Ben Copper. I'm a first year like you. I just wanted to say thank you for standing up to Marilla Snide. Who told you I did that? I was watching from the end of the corridor. I've been following her so she can't sneak up on me, and if she sees me, I'll at least have a chance to run away. She tormented me the entire way here on the Hogwarts Express. She kept threatening me and calling me a mudblood. Oh, I'm sorry, Ben. That's terrible. Marula is obsessed with being the best witch in our year, and she thinks she has to impose her will on us to prove it. I'm just glad someone was brave enough to stand up to her. I'm certainly not. It's a joke that I got put in Gryffindor. Everyone's afraid of something, Ben. Unfortunately, I'm afraid of everything. I come from a muggle family, so all of this is new and scary to me. I know how you feel. I come from a wizard family. Hold on, how does that make her understand? And this is hard for me too. Or maybe just because it's hard for everyone. I'll try to help you however I can, Ben. <gasps> Thanks, Ellie. I'll see you around. Okay, new friend. I like new friends. Let's go back to the common room and see what Chester has to say. Uh-oh. Be kind, Chester. Be kind. I love this common room. All right, let's go oh. and see. Ugh. You already lost Ravenclaw 10 house points. We're in fourth place now. What happened? Oh, here we go. Yep, okay. Uh... I'm sorry, but who are you and why are you talking to me about house points? I'm your prefect, Chester Davies. It's a prefect's job to keep order in the house and help first years like you with their problems. Yeah. Considering what your brother did to Ravenclaw's reputation, I should have kept a closer eye on you. Oh, come on now, that's a bit rough. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. Marula Snide did something to make my potion explode. Mm. Do you have any proof? No... In any case, Professor Snape already sent you a letter directly to our common room. Why wouldn't he send it to me? Yeah. Probably because he despises you. Hmm. Snape hates everyone, so I wouldn't take it personally, but I would read that letter immediately. Valiant, I have discovered evidence that your potion may have indeed be tampered with. Does this not sound like Snape at all? Yes, you look suspicious correctly. While it does not prove your innocence, it does cast some doubt on my belief that you are hopelessly incompetent. Mm -hmm. Bring me a jar of pickled slugs from the potion storeroom and I will consider restoring your house point. House point Snape. There are directions to the potion storeroom at the bottom of the letter. Want me to go with you, Ellie? It's the least I can do after you saved me from Marula. Yes, yes please. It's always nice to have a friend with you. You know your way around the castle much better Whoa. than me. Whoa, he's offering to give us back the ten house points you lost. Hurry to the potion storeroom before he changes his mind. Alright, I'm off. Report to Chester, we did that. Go and help Snape and get those house points back for us. Okay. Let's see, here we go. Mm. The directions on Snape's letter, Snape's letter says this is a potion storeroom. Mm. I always thought it was located in the tapestry corridor. I suppose there must be more than one. I need to find a jar of pickle snugs Pickle snugs, pickle slugs, and bring them back to Snape so I can get those ten house points back. Let's see. Uh-oh. It's a trap, isn't it? I can't see a thing. It's dark in here. Why did you close the door, Rowan? Eh. Uh, I didn't. You closed behind me as soon as I stepped inside, and I think it's locked. You should cast the wand lighting charm to help us see. All right, Lumos. We've got light. It says Lumos, where is the light? Ah, uh, this does not look like the potions. No, this is not this is this is not the storeroom. What is that thing? A deadly plant called Devil's Snare. Some fourth year Slytherin showed it to me when I first arrived. It's sensitive to light. If you're really better at the wand lighting charm than me, escaping should be no problem. Hold on, where did she come from? Oh, she's outside the door. Marula, you locked us in here? Along with sending you a fake letter from Snape. I told you things would only get worse for you, Valiant. Something has to stop you from ruining Hogwarts. It may as well be Devil's Snare. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We're gonna need more light. Ah! Yes, that's what I say too. Ellie! We have to get out of here! Marula is right about Devil's Snare being sensitive to light. 
Use Lumos to hold it off while I try to open the door and call for help. Help! We're trapped in here with Devil Snares! Someone help! Alright. Let's go. We've got eight hours to pass this. So this is where I think we start running out of this energy stuff. So let's find out. And we can't leave the room until we've completed the activity. So let's go. This one here first because it's all lit up. Fend off. This is taking us 12 energy points and we only have 24. So let's see. Okay. Lumos. Oh, this did not work. Hold on, it worked. It worked on that bit. Oh no, there are more of them. Oh, they're down around my ankles. And can you see up here? In We've got 12 out of 24. Keeps refilling. So we can kick it. We can kick it as much as we like. And Lumos. I've got to get out of here. Help someone, please! Oh, it's round my neck. Okay, this is not working. Now, if I tug this, target vines, I actually have no energy left. <laughs> Look, so, this game was free to download. Now, we can either wait until our points of energy recharge. So, one point of energy recharges every four minutes. So, we can just wait. Wait for your energy to recharge, or we can buy it. I told you those pink diamonds were useful, those pink gems. So, I'm going to wait, and... Oh, hold on. So up here, up here we just have to wait, just have to wait. So five times, five times four minutes. So we're gonna have to wait 20 minutes before this completely refills enough for us to get up here. So you know what? I'm gonna pause this video for you and I'm gonna come back in 20 minutes. I'm gonna show you what happens, if you're patient. <laughs> All right, I've been very patient. I have now got six energy points back. Let's tug at our vines and see if this is enough to get us out. Let's Lumos! Lumos! I've shouted it. It sent oh. two stars up. Keep it up, Ellie. I think I hear someone. <gasps> Success! We did it. Being patient was very useful. All right, so we got two more gems. Brilliant. It sounds like there's something going on. Uh, and we got some more clothing pieces. What's going on in there? Who's out there? Out of the way! Oh, it's Hagrid! Gulp and gargoyles, Ravenclaw. That's a terrible accent. It sounds nothing like Hagrid. Get away from the devil's snare! You're scaring it! Yeah, it still doesn't sound like him. I'm scaring it! Let's get you out of here. <laughs> I sound nothing like Hagrid. I love Hagrid. You saved my life. Thank you, mister. <laughs> Rubius Hagrid at your service. I'm keeper of the keys and grounds at Hogwarts. Please, your pleasure to meet you. I'm Ellie Valiant. Ah, you're the one everybody's been talking about. Maybe trouble really does run in your family. How'd you end up in there, Ellie? <laughs> the first year Slytherin named Marula Snide locked hey. us inside. She did. What are you gonna do? I could tell Dumbledore. I could tell my classmates I could get revenge. Maybe if I... You know, you really should go and tell a teacher. But I'm going to tell my classmates. I'll tell everyone in our year what she did so they know she can't be trusted. Uh -huh. Do you have any proof? I have a fake letter from Snape, but I can't prove she's the one who wrote it. Ah, but who'll believe you if you don't have any proof? You might want to reconsider. I'll head back to, I'd head back to your common room and take to time to tink. <laughs> take some time to tink. I don't want you doing something you'll regret. You might also want to do something about those robes. That devil's snare got you good. Thanks, Hagrid. Hopefully I'll see you again. You certainly will, Ellie. But for now, you'd better get back to your common room. Collect slugs. All right, so we did not actually collect slugs, but we ticked off anyway. We got to report back to Chester and tell him if Snape gave us back our house points. Oh, dear. All right, here we are. I'm actually just going to... Oh, look at this picture. That's nice. West Towers. There's one. Oh, look at that. When you tap the picture, it just refilled my energy. That's so cool. I wonder if that'll... I don't want to waste all the pictures. I'm going to have to explore around here as we go along, though. Let's report to Chester. See if he's any happier with me now than he was before. Oh, he's still in the same uh. place, too. Bloody hell, what happened to your robes? I got snared by Devil's Snare. Whoa. Devil's Snare? How? What happened with Professor Snape? 
It was a trick. Marulus Knight faked the note and trapped me in a room with Devil's Snare. What is it with you and this girl? I think she's threatened by me, and I think she hates that I'm the only first year who stood up to her. And I take it you once again don't have any proof. Hmm. I had the fake letter from Snape, but I can't prove she's the one who wrote it. Well, you can't go around the castle like that. Professor Flitwick will have a fit. People already look at you like you're mad because of your brother. Well, that's not very fair. You shouldn't be judged by the actions of your family. Go and change into fresh robes, or better yet, pick something to wear outside class hours. Well, cool. Well, we've ticked off reporting to Chester. Let's go and put on a new outfit. Oh, look at this. Pick out some new clothes and tap done when you're ready. So, we've got some new things here in hair, because I can see a little... Oh, they're going to cost me money. We can try them out. I'm going to save up, I think, maybe for maybe for this cute little bob cut. Or, oh, that one looks nice. I'm going to save up, though. I'm not going to just spend my money at the moment. I'm happy with the hair that I currently have. So let's go back. And we've got some clothes. And we can have this nice shirt for free. Or we can spend some money. Oh, we can spend diamonds. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> These are all cash clothes. Oh, that's fancy. Well, they're nice. We might try saving up for some of these and some of them unlock as we go along too. Now, we can't afford any of these at the moment. We're just going to go what comes as a default and we can have some little pants. But, oh, look, that'll go nicely with that really colourful coat. And we can... Oh, nice pink sneakers. We could buy these, but we don't have enough money. We've only got 365 coins. We can get some cute little skirts. Or we could even get, oh no, alright, we can't get long skirts yet, but we can as we go along. This is going to be fun. And robes, let's have a look. Oh, hold on, before we do that, I need to go and change back here, because I'm in the wrong, wrong, wrong bottoms. And these are out good. we got some new robes. We can buy some fancier robes. Ooh, nice. Oh, look at these. Oh, I'm certainly saving up for these. They're awesome. Now, alright, we can only afford that at the moment. And some hats. Now, I can't... These are supposed to be rings. I can't actually see... I can't... I can't actually see a ring on her hand or watches or gloves. Can you see anything? Don't know if I'm doing something wrong here, but we're just going to stay on this. And we could get... We could get a nice scarf. And Ravenclaw colours. Oh, I like that too. We can get a necklace. Lots of choices here, but we're not going to spend our money just yet. Hold on. Oh, and cute little glasses. All right, choices, choices everywhere. I don't want those glasses at the moment because I cannot afford them. So, oh, come on, no, no, default, oh, revert. So let's go back and let's just have a look. We do need, oh, hold on, ah, revert just means I went back to the grubby, back to the grubby robes. So let's get some new robes because they're free and now I can click done. Yes, we do want to save those changes. Put on new clothes, we've done it. Let's see how we look. We look much less must. Let's see what he says. Wow, that's much better now. You don't look like someone used you to practice the severing charm. Thanks, but I'm mainly just happy to be alive. Yeah, well, you'd better hurry to your first flying class before you're expelled. See if you can find a way to earn back house points while you're there. Okay. Now, we need to go to a flying class. You're going to fly in a broom. Try not to break your neck. And most importantly, don't lose any more house points. Okay. Oh, look at this. We are out here, outside. There's the Whomping Willow. There's Hagrid's hut. There's the Allery. There are people flying. Care of magical creatures. Oh, there's people studying. All right, I am going to continue playing this in another video. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you download it too. At the moment, it's free to download. You you can spend money on getting gems and things like that as you go along. But hopefully, if you're just patient, things will refill anyway in time. Hopefully, this is a game that you can play without having to spend money. I'm going to give it a really good try and see whether I can play this for free without having to buy any of the in-app purchases. So, while you're waiting for the next video to come up, please make sure that you subscribe and make sure you check out some other videos and, well, I can play this again really soon. So, I'll see you soon. Bye!